Welcome, KSL Gang. Welcome KSL gang. Today I'm going to be reviewing and rating Timu Luxury Dupe Perfumes. This was my first time trying them out. I did a really small order. I got four of their perfumes and two different types of press on nails. When I tell you I kept seeing this pop up everywhere. I could not escape Timu. Especially on TikTok. Every other video it's an ad or someone doing a haul or even YouTube ads. I could not get away from it. So I finally checked them out. When I seen it, I already knew it was something like AliExpress, Wish, and Shein. So I'm very familiar on how it goes. I've been shopping on websites like these for years. And with my experience, you just have to really read the description and make sure they have some reviews on the product. Even though they don't, sometimes I have to take one for the team and I'll order something if it's not even one review. And that'll be my fault. But for the most part, I try to make sure there's a good enough reviews before I order anything from that particular seller or the actual product. And if not, I say, okay, let me order and see how it is. That way I can write my review and help someone else out that's looking to it. I definitely wanted to start off with the perfumes because that's what I'm in. I got four of their luxury dupes. I want to start from the strongest to the weakest. I'm going to be writing on packaging, the scent, everything. I actually have the authentic ones from the perfumes I'm going to be talking about. About. besides one I have a replica of it but okay let's jump in I first want to start off with Giorgio Armani my way do and this is from the seller Jean Miss because if you go on Timu it's going to be variety of my way dupes with different names on them so this particular one is Jean Miss and of course I have the links below if you want to check them out as far as packaging I think they did really good with capturing the actual look of it and if you know what the original my way looks you can definitely recognize it without having any name on it and this one is a 1.7 ounce so when I tested these out I put each of them on both of my wrists and I was just there for a while in shock y'all the Timu version is strong just as the original the lasting power about the same for both of them I'm like there's no way. I didn't know what to expect when I was trying it out. And I'm like, wow. I thought it was going to be just a, you know, a floral scent. But I didn't think that was going to capture a scent exactly. You know, I thought they were just using the bottle shape and, the, you know, the image to make it seem like it's like my way. But no, they smell just alike like i said on my review on timu because i do leave my review for these on there to help other people out for the one called jean miss that's my take on it but they had other ones called my love or other names i'm not sure how those will be i'm not saying they won't be like the jean miss version but for this version amazing you could smell that tuberose it's bright it's floral it smells beautiful just like the original so like if you have the original and you you want to pair those kind of make the original last longer as in the bottle size because you know it's pricey i mean the georgia armani my way is pricey depending on which bottle size you get as soon as i tried this one out i immediately got another one that's when i did my second perfume order they did a pretty good job on it i'm still shocked about it i'm like do i need to get two more back up i got this one for nine dollars and 48 cents but right now it's eight dollars and 54 cents and they always have a deal sometimes it'll go up or down and before i got this one i was just watching it for a while it was in a cart for a while and it sold out twice so i had to wait for a third time for me to actually get my hands on it i'm like okay this is selling out like that i'm thinking a lot of people might be buying these for their little boutiques or shops and reselling these and it didn't have too many reviews on there so i wasn't sure and i'm like maybe they're trying to keep it for they sell but might not trying to show everybody that it's good but i'm letting you know that it's good i'm not gatekeeping nothing over here i'm telling you it is good so i think this is a awesome 
dupe. The next one is YSL Lieb dupe. This is a one ounce and I got it for $6.74. They also have one with the gold leaf, like gold glitter type of stuff in it. And that one's $8.99, which is still amazing. Now I have a couple of things that you can compare this to. So we have the original. We have floral lavender from Dice, which is a perfect spot on dupe. And we also have fairy tale, which is like a dupe, but it's not as strong as the original, but it's pretty close. Now out of all three of these, to me, this one is really strong, but it smells closer to fairy tale, which is I'm cool with because fairy tale smells very similar to the original. I will say the Timu version, it's like a lighter version of the original. If like you had a nighttime and a daytime version, this could be like a daytime version of the original. It smells amazing. And you can definitely pair this one with fairy tale and make fairy tale last even longer because fairy tale y'all know does well on its own. It's a strong perfumey one, but it's also not stronger than Dossier's dupe either. Floral lavender is stronger than a Timu version. Like I said, the Timu version is more towards fairy tale as far as the strongness of it. So I love that one. The next one is a replicas dupe for by the fireplace. The Timu version is called fireplace fire light and I got this one for eight dollars and nine cents and this one is a 1.7 ounce so I do have the original to this one as well I have a little sample of it but that's good enough to test them out to see if they resemble each other but to me the Timu version it smells a little bit more like midnight amber glow from Bath and Body Works you can definitely pair those two together and to me midnight amber glow kind of smells like by the fireplace but it'll give you a more accurate description of fire place firelight it smells nice and creamy and this one's like a nice medium one it's not super strong but it's really good i love midnight amber glow so i have no problem with it smelling like that it's kind of a mixture of by the fireplace and midnight amber glow if that makes sense i can get both of those scents out of the timu version as far as the packaging they did a pretty good job on it trying to look like the original so i'm really happy with this one the last one is a dupe for ysl black opium and this one is a 1.7 ounce for $7.19. I think they did really good on the packaging. The packaging is pretty similar. Now, I did not find my sample of YSL Black Opium, but I do have the Ambery Vanilla from Dossier. So I'm just going to compare it to that one. With this one, this is the lightest of the four. I can smell that coffee note on the dry down. It's not as strong as the Dossier version. And this one only lasted about an hour and a half. It does smell really Really nice so you can definitely pair it with the original to kind of give it some depth to it and to me it does not smell exactly like the dossier version but I can smell like a coffee note in a Timu version it smells a little spicy so it's definitely like in the same family but it's not an exact dupe as far as the other three but it's a really nice scent and with the leap in about a fireplace I got about three hours with those for lasting power but with the Giorgio Armani my way y'all I got five plus hours hours with that one like I said that's the strongest one and I did get two packs of press on nails they have some beautiful press on nails I do wear those and they had tons of designs so I can definitely see myself getting more of those but as far as the perfume the ones that I picked out I'm loving them and I did test them out first a really small space on my arm in case I got any kind of reaction to it and they were just fine on the skin but they actually last even longer on clothes I'm gonna try to stay off of Timu because I can see myself getting easily hooked on it y'all. You will be on there for hours just looking up stuff. But for me the perfumes are a hit. And I did another huge order with perfumes. It should be here probably less than a week. So I'll definitely come back and do those. What made me do another order quickly. Not just because the products are really good. Let me tell you why I was so comfortable with them after my first order. After you place your order you go under your order. And you click on get updates for your order. So when I did that every step of the way I got emails I got texts on my phone letting me know it has been processed it has been shipped it has made it to US designation every step of the way I kept getting updates on my order so I'm like okay I don't even think Aliexpress did that back in the day but they really kept me updated on everything that was going on with the order so that's why I had did a second order with them and as of now I'm still getting all of my updates but when picking the product it's definitely good to just read the description make sure you look at reviews and just choose your better judgment on them so as of now i haven't had any problems with ordering from them and they do package pretty well everything you know 
come in that orange famous packaging they have and it's wrapped up pretty good i have seen some people products come destroyed and everything and i'm sure they have sent it out to them and give them a refund because that is a policy with them you can do refunds and stuff like that but yes let me know have you tried timu out how was your experience do you like them or are you not too sure if you would ever order from them but if you haven't already subscribe and join the ksl game thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one hey ksl game if you love cooking and watching cooking videos and super easy recipes make sure you check out my main channel in kiki's kitchen i'll see you over there